Hi everyone, it's Anne. Thank you once again for joining me as we work through this epic journey of ascension and transformation as we collectively evolve here at a breakneck speed. Unbelievable shifts, changes, energies. Um, it's pretty wild. Very, very, very intense energies. So many different aspects to this that are going on. Uh, seemingly all at the same time. So if you're feeling like it's a lot, it, it is a lot. It's a lot, a lot, a lot of a lot in various different perspectives. So collectively, wow, I mean, there are so many people that are really onboarding here with respect to learning about themselves, uh, about being shown, um, being really forced to see um, their true selves, being forced to reckon with their own emotions. And this is good news to one extent. Um, as somebody who is an empath, uh, we have to really be aware, remember, that everybody is on their own part of this journey and at different points in time. And um, some of us, especially during this very, very intense Scorpio season, um, can tend to mirror, uh, as somebody with a lot of Scorpio energy, we can tend to mirror um, back to people a reflection of themselves. And um, this can be where this individual, as some of these people that you would least expect is starting to being forced to come to terms with this, are trying to project this energy um, out onto those for somebody else to hold on to. So it's really important to remember that part of this journey here as um, somebody who picks up on pe on energy and people's uh, energy, it's important to remember that this is an individual journey and we can't help people through their own emotional, internal um, uh, walk. They have to turn inwards and walk through that difficult stuff themselves. Of course, they don't want to do this. They want this to become somebody else's responsibility as always, because this has been something that a lot of people have been avoiding um, because of how difficult it is as some of these internal programs, blockages and traumas have been buried so deeply, so many in denial that they even exist. So this is bubbling up. The empaths are feeling this. Uh, we feel obligated to help other people, but what's important and what you learn as you go through this journey as an empath, bringing your power back, is people have to walk through. There is some guidance, yes. Your best way to guide is to walk the walk. So live in your authentic self. Know when to force the individual, not really force them, but... Don't take over the responsibility of their own work, which is what they're going to try to do in some cases. So it's really important here. Again, another, um, another learning opportunity um, to stay firmly in our power and recognize that maturity in us, that, that younger person we have now sort of understand um, where we used to be, we can now um, have this emotional knowledge and intelligence that we can bring to the table and respond to this kind of thing with, uh, uh, with a higher intelligence um, rather than um, emotional outbursts. And this is what we've learned over the course of um, our time healing. And this is what other people are needing to sort of understand and learn. So this is a big underlying energy I wanted to bring up right off the top. Because uh, we are getting, oh my goodness, this push and pull 
is unbelievable. So this is a lot of this, well, this is psychological warfare, really. Um, it is the inner struggle and individuals are having that is collectively being represented here. Um, we are being given the gift of these high intense energies that are flowing through um, that we're also navigating. So we've got this emotional navigation between ourselves, our own healing, and the others. We have this energetic, these energetics that are um, unbelievable. As I said before, this is a consistent way of being at this point. It's just something that we know we are as we feel different. Um, very hard to find individuals that um, are on the same frequency more and more will start to come on board with this over time. But as those who are grounding and really moving through this um, new earth energy, um, we, we know that we're, we're different. It doesn't make us any better. It just, it makes it challenging um, because most people don't understand, you know, who we are. So a lot of you, I know I've spoken to, met with um, just unbelievably powerful, powerful time uh, when we all, this is why I love doing these videos, when we can all sort of get a chance to say, you are not alone, um, as we experience sort of this really different and unique way of being and operating, which is requiring us to really step out of a lot of what we've known and grown accustomed to and used to into a whole different perspective, which nobody really knows for sure uh, what that is and where it's going. But we do know that um, it is coming from a place of pure, unconditional love and support. I mean, having been someone who spent a lot of time um, in a very um, depleted state near death, um, I was really in touch with my own pure consciousness for quite a long time, which provided me with an insight that a lot of people um, don't get the opportunity, thankfully, um, to have. And it really shows you how much um, we are affected by the harshness, the density of this earth and how so many have just formulated their lives around that. Um, and that can be felt by a lot, uh, a lot of us. And it's showing us that we're moving, we're really pushing this more feminine energy, this intuitive, knowing, caring, compassionate energy um, up into balance. And this is so, so important right now. Um, so it's part of why we're releasing so much is so that we can start to really tap into the heart where we have closed ourselves off for, from protection, from the harshness of this life, of those things that happened to us early on, whether or not you are an empath or just a highly sensitive individual that didn't even know they were and closed all of that off early on as a way to protect oneself. A lot of this is coming up and it's coming for release. So to walk through the tears of emotional release, it really, really helps to cry it out <laughs> um, if that's what you are experiencing. So give yourself uh, a break from the voice where especially men have been conditioned to um, not you know, to be a man and not cry. Well, you are, we are all masculine and feminine energies. We all carry d different perspectives and versions on that, uh, depending on our birth charts. And it's quite fascinating when I look at the energies and people and their charts. And um, it's so interesting when you see where some of these uh, energies have been commanding and some of the other ones have been denied. But anyway, it is a crazy, crazy, incredibly important time to stay within your own um, perspective. What feels right to you? 
we are really moving out of we spent you know a, a long time in this energy of other people of requiring other people to direct us to give us answers to tell us what to do um, that they were smarter than us that they knew more than us and when we go on this healing journey we learn we learn how to learn we learn and this requires a lot of times isolation from all of the noise of those people who want to take over your energetic space and to just learn about yourself and we get to the point where it is unbelievable um, how amazing we are with each of our own unique purposes our gifts our own beautiful energies and how much power we have and this is the thing we all hold the power here and it's really important to remind ourselves of that no matter where you are you always hold the power and you have to allow negative energy in okay so wow um what else we are balancing 3D, 5D, whatever terminology we can kind of feel. Um, we, you know, this is an earth experience. We're here to have fun and enjoy. We are here to learn uh, about ourselves. Um, we are here to try and not take everything so seriously all the time. So we don't need to be solving world peace every single day. Uh, the world can live without us sometimes where we can just do whatever we need to do and empaths need to remember this <laughs> to have fun and enjoy um, but linear time linear thinking and linear time are challenges at best and they come and go um, so you have to stay focused sometimes when doing tasks um, and moving through this life, um, I have often lately driven past exits that I drive every day because I am off somewhere else. And um, it happens in a split second. I lose track of things. So it's really important to bring in that where you need the mind to be operating. So come back to the mind when it's needed. Um, because other parts of us are multidimensional, we're feeling this unbelievable energy that a lot of people don't understand or feel. We know we are, we know we are different. Um, the insights are absolutely incredibly amazing. So we're balancing all of these things, all of us here, um, as we move through this incredibly transformational time. This is a process. So we spiral back through feelings until we can integrate them totally. And this takes time, especially if they're rather difficult and challenging feelings. And there's a whole lot that goes on behind the scenes here as we um, view them, learn about them, um, release them, inspect them, release them, um, and eventually understand the purpose behind what happened um, but it's a whole process um, of re release and this is just the theme meanwhile <laughs> meanwhile we are also developing our ability to co-create uh, the use of intentions is critically important of um, determining where it is you want to go, of really setting the pace for creating the reality that you so desire, which is very powerful right now. So there are some things coming into play to try and shove, of, shove us um, out of alignment lessons more lessons um, and um, the efforts to come back in alignment are there 
sometimes some of this just needs to be let go of for a couple days. We need to not try and figure things out and trust. And this is really important to just let all this stuff go sometimes and just be whoever you want to be. There's a lot of expectation around who you should be on this spiritual journey. And none of it really matters. What's really important is that we know that we are here to improve ourselves and to make our lives feel better, to recognize we don't have to carry all this stuff around, and to create new beginnings every day. And that is the only important thing here. So it is a different and unique experience for each and every one of us. Don't let anybody decide for you what is in your best interest. So I'm not trying to preach here. I think I'm really speaking from experience. So buzzing here, um, the physical um, integration is really, 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 really a lot. Um, as you know, I don't get into the specifics of um, all of the things and changes that are happening, but it's happening very, very rapidly, very strongly. It's a pain in the ass. There is no question about it, um, especially for those that are more sensitive. We feel this even more in the physical, but it's really you know, I, there are no simple answers for how to deal with it except to take care of yourself, um, to keep balanced, to keep exercised, um, to keep hydrated, and to really step away from thinking about all of this stuff all the time. I find the 3D world is a tremendous, tremendous balancer. <laughs> um, so sometimes it's good just to venture into that perspective every now and then. And then we sort of start to realize where we are, when we can transition sort of back and forth. Now this is gonna be over the head for some people. I sound a little crazy, but honestly, these times are like that right now. And there's people at so many different levels and perspectives on this journey that we all have to just accept everybody for where they're at. Anyway, guys, um, that's what I have for you today. I like, I get these insights and I know there's a lot more to the picture here, but we are really, really um, moving through this dense, dense energies where we need to be going on this earth journey here is to bring things into this higher level perspective, this higher level frequency of love. And um, this is really um, the mission. So the dense, as the density leaves us, we raise into these higher levels and this is happening. This is happening. So good work to all those who are still on board here. Appreciate every single one of you so much. Keep up the good work. Um, if you would like um, some more information about me, you can check uh, out my website, anntaylorking.com. Thanks, guys. Bye.